Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a much needed vlog. I know, I know, I've been depriving my channel from vlogs, but, uh, you know, you know your girl, you know your girl already. Any life updates, uh, well, first, mo first off, most importantly, I already went ahead and submitted in all of my information or my, like, stuff to schedule that test so that's what i've been up to <laughs> although i love doing poly gel don't get me wrong uh this poly gel i gotta say i've been mastering it i've been mastering it lately as a nail tech i want to do gel x nails i want to do acrylic uh i also want to do poly gel so I want to have like different options, you know what I'm saying? Like not just acrylic, like I want to have different options. So, so yeah guys, Valerie is in school right now. She actually has after school program today. So she joined a knitting club. So do you girl. I was waiting for a package in the mail that I had to sign off on and I hate it because I usually have to like stick by the window and like stay there until they come. Let me show you guys. Let me just, hold on. No, right here. Right here. Look at that. Look at all of that. I cannot wait to settle into my own office. Like, look at all those wires, guys. Like, I've tried everything and everything I can, but th this is what I'm working with for now. <laughs> I believe I showed you guys my Christmas tree in a prior video, but here's my little study station. <laughs> you look, I this is what's working for me right now because like yeah 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 you guys know and then toby's toys i got him this pig at target because it's like almost indestructible okay it's almost indestructible this dude is tiny but he literally has the jaw power to like destroy <laughs> every toy i get him so he's been having this one for days and he like can't like even find where to tear it up so that's good I'm gonna show you guys my winter coat. Where did I get this? Oh, I got this at Kohl's last year or two years ago. But I like it, it's a scarf, it's super warm. And what I like is that it has like the slit here so you can like tuck in your scarf so it doesn't move around, just like that. Anyways, I got this really nice big coat from target and i just like love it it i just like the look of it like you could be wearing a whole anything under and it looks good and it's also suitable for like parties and stuff but i just really like it for the daily i feel like it is such a vibe uh i got it at target did i mention that you can tie it but i like it untied it's just i just think it's such a vibe like I love it hold on let me see if I can show you like the whole thing you know I just love it it's like big and it's so warm also so it's super warm it keeps you like just all warm and obviously like you could you know tie this up if you want to wear it like that just a little more a lot warmer and it is in a size 2X, again, from Target. But just like, look at it. It's so pretty. And I feel like this color goes like well with anything that you wanna wear. But like I said, it literally looks good with anything that you wear under it. It's been many, many days since I've picked up my camera. Hello. <laughs> it's been many days since I've picked up my camera, even though you guys don't know that, but I do. I'm enjoying a good old Americano today. I'm still waiting on the email from PSI to officially schedule my test. So yeah, I've been studying and studying and I've figured out about myself. I don't know if I've talked about it on here. I don't know. But I have a hard time focusing if I'm taking notes. So if I... Like, for in, or, in order for me to, like, remember terms, I have to read the book, and it'll stick like that because if I write notes, I get distracted in my head. Like, I, I'm writing down notes, and then I start thinking about something else, and I hate it, right? So, even though, like, I know most of the things, the medical terms that are hard to remember, 
that's just the only thing the, the medical terms the bacteria and viruses and whatnot like they're just like hard to remember and I'm trying to like remember back then when I was taking medical classes on how you could break down the word and each like every three or four letters means something like itis means infection okay if it doesn't I'm sorry but basically I, I don't know I'm trying to like remember but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong so for example like itis at the end of a term like folliculitis I don't know guys bear with me it would mean like an infection of whatever is in front of that I don't know if that makes sense I'm sorry if I'm confusing I confuse myself too so the Illinois the Illinois test is of 65 questions and then you have to have in I think a 70 something percentage and above in order to pass so fingers crossed guys fingers crossed anyways great news guys I found a location where I'm gonna be able to start working on nails while I get my license um, just to get that practice in because it's been a really long time since I've worked on acrylic. I did these right here with acrylic, but this is on myself and I'd never do a great, great job than doing it on someone else. I actually did Valerie's nails, which I will show a picture of you right here. Um, I did her a set of acrylics and they came out really, really nice. Like obviously other people's nails through acrylic that I do comes out so much better than on myself. Obviously, I can work really well with poly gel on my own nails, but acrylic just, I have a harder time. And anyways, I was using a, what, what's it called? A odorless monomer. Here it is, which I'm thinking of doing a tutorial on my nail channel. If you guys haven't followed my nail channel, go ahead and follow it. It'll be in the description box below. But it is harder to work with than regular monomer because you have to, it, like, it won't harden until you cure it in the UV light. So it's like very runny. Um, it does harden a little bit, but it just takes practice. And it's like you have to constantly like cure it in the UV light so it doesn't move officially, you know? So, I mean, it's it's good, but you just have to practice with it, just like poly gel. Yo, girl, finally found a location where I can start, like, working on nails and getting that practice in and just starting up during, during the process of getting my license, which is, like, so awesome. Like, I'm just so excited. Like I said, I haven't worked on acrylics in a really long time, and I can finally transfer all of these things to a, like, little, like, my area, like, my desk, my work spot not home you know so it's it's gonna be a really nice journey something to look forward to obviously like it's gonna take me time to like build up that clientele but for the moment working and practicing on you know if you guys are on my channel you guys are from illinois you guys will be more than willing to let me practice on your nails dm me so i'm gonna put my instagram my nail instagram up here send me a dm and then I can set up an appointment for you guys so I can start getting that practice in because like I said it's been a long time and more of the reason is you know COVID hit and then I stopped practicing with acrylic and then the smell of monomer in my apartment was like it's just too much back and forth to put the extractors on the window and take them back down and then put them back up and then move everything around and then it, it was just too much and like yeah I, I it's I'm, I'm so happy that I found this spot where I can officially do it there and without any problem and I'll be surrounded by other artists as well which will be like really awesome too so I am so excited to finally establish a social life again another update is that I don't have a car right now because it broke down on me and I got so up with it like just unnecessary spending on it and it, it was just time so I, I had it junked and so I've been borrowing my sister-in-law's car to drop off Valerie to school in the mornings and picking her up from school so yeah the good thing is that this shop that I'll be starting at is literally like super close so it's not like I'm gonna have to go like super super out of my way 
I'm back home. Uh, I was like too shy to pull out my camera, you know? Just way too shy. But I did tell her that I am a, a YouTuber. So she wouldn't be surprised if at some point I'd like pull out my camera or something. But shout out to her. Uh, so I looked at my desk um, on Friday. I can pick up the keys to the shop and then... That's like cat coming out of the bathroom. The keys to the shop and then the key to my like box where I'm going to keep all my acrylics and stuff like that. And I can start moving my stuff in on Sunday and then I can start practicing on my clients starting Monday or even Sunday if I wanted to. But I'm just so freaking excited like it's happening. I needed this so bad just to get back into routine, to getting to working again on nails and just getting my practice in, building up a clientele. And then like, you know, I needed this to happen for sure. So I'm super excited. So on Sunday, when I go in to move my stuff, I will show you guys my desk. I am so excited. Like I needed something to look forward to. Like for real, I'm telling you, I'm just, I just need to do something. I just need to feel like I'm doing something with my life. And ever since um, quitting my job, uh, I've just had a really hard time trying to like get it together and falling out of routine and whatnot. So this is like really exciting. Like, even though it's temporarily practice until I get my license, I'm still super excited and happy. Like, super, super stoked. And this is just, like, a new chapter to my nail career in my life. And, like, I'm just so excited. Oh, my God, I'm just so excited. I'm so happy. I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, on my little desk area, but for the moment being, I have to pack up a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff. But I'm also super excited because I'll finally have, like, more space in my little apartment. So basically, all there is to do now is pack my stuff. I still will, will be doing nail videos on my nail channel. I will probably do some at uh my new work area you know maybe sometimes here and there or like when i get comfortable with my clients i will you know bring down the camera ooh, and show tutorials but i'm gonna leave my arkin here for now for sure uh which is my arkin mount where i put my camera at and then that way i can still do videos here Look what I got in the mail. Perfect timing. It is my appointment book. My Well, my appointment planner. I had gotten one like this before. And so, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the little things that matter for me. And this matters a lot to me. I know this uh the rest of this video has been like a lot of talking but I like I like sometimes I just want to sit down and like have a talk with someone and nine times out of ten I don't everybody else has like their lives going on and whatnot and I find YouTube to be like a great place for me to like sit down and talk so whether it's like good times and like bad times so you guys have seen me go through some really rough times and then you guys have seen my ups and downs and I just like love the fact that I can come on here and talk to you guys about anything so this is just basically a like talking video about everything going on and you know what I appreciate your time being here and like still listening to my video and like everything that goes on I really, really appreciate it that this can be a space for me to come on here and do that. Uh, it's like I think about it and I think about it and I feel like the universe really put me 
in the situation it did with my last job so that I so that the best of me can come out or else I was still going to be stuck there working my butt off, which honestly, I didn't have an issue at all. I really did not, but I think that the universe was really trying to push me to do what I love to do. Something that I've been working on doing and I set aside specifically to start that job and kind of like forgot about my nail career. And I just felt like the universe really put me in that really tough sucky situation and like now i'm here like now things are really happening and slowly but surely like just happening and so i don't know i just like been sitting down and having like a thought about all of this because if it wasn't for that then i would still be there and I wouldn't have spent or be spending as much time as I am now with my daughter and now focusing on my nail career and soon to be licensed like this is like what I needed <sighs> I don't know just just a thought and then also my parents have been super supportive especially my mom my dad really never has a an opinion or something to say or a congratulations unless he's like trying to treat me or make me feel like crap which sucks which sucks but um I am pretty sure that my mom tells him <laughs> during their alone time I don't know like I just think that it's it had that my dad's like that because of the way he was raised with my grandparents not having that type of love and affection I don't know I don't know they don't he doesn't really talk a lot or he's never really talked about his relationship with my grandparents I mean he said a few things and sometimes I could see why he is the way he is but then I can kind of get mad at him for not breaking that barrier and like now I have to break that barrier and introduce like a whole different type of parenting to my kid to break that cycle um, but I, I can just like, I just want to think that he's like happy <laughs> for me, even though he usually only has an, an opinion when it's something to make me feel like crap about. But, um, my mom, on the other hand, has been like super supportive. Uh, she's like super excited and happy about everything that's happening and, you know, like, I just feel like the, the universe is working on my side and although we've had our rough times in the past with my parents as you guys saw a few videos ago with the situation when I lost my job and my dad especially not taking it the right way um, I feel like everything happens for a reason like everything happens for a reason my credit is going up girl <laughs> I'm telling you I just think it needed to happen that way even though it was horrible the way it happened but like everything is going good so far and uh, I just felt like it needed to happen and I couldn't understand why it, why it was happening at that time. But now that I look to see where I'm at right now, I'm like, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad it happened. Even though it sucked the way it happened, but I'm just so happy it happened because look where I'm at now. I'm pursuing my postponed nail career because of that job. They missed out. I'm a great employee, a great dedicated, hardworking employee, but now I can dedicate my time and my life to doing something that I love to do, which is great. And I love, and I love that. And the universe is just bringing like so much positivity into my life and I'm accepting it in every single way it comes, whether it's through the smallest to the biggest. I literally am 
appreciating and not taking anything for granted like literally i mean i never do take anything for granted even the smallest little thing thoughtful thing to me is like oh my god you know but i've always been like that anyways but like now i like embrace it even more so yeah life is just getting better and my family is being super supportive which is like great which is what i need my dad is a quiet man but i prefer him to be quiet <laughs> than him saying anything because anytime he like really says anything it's like not it's kind of offensive but i just think that it has to deal a lot to do with like his childhood trauma growing up but it still is not fair right but hispanic hispanic parents you know as i you know i got my mom being super supportive and that's that's been super helpful because i feel um, it makes me feel good, you know, like it makes me feel very, very, very good and positive and all that. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to end the video right here. Like I said, I know it's been like a lot of talking, but I consider you guys very close friends of mine, even though I don't know you personally or in person, but just like always seeing your comments and replies and responses and just positivity just makes me feel like i've got family out there and you guys are my family and i just feel like i can come on here like always and just talk to you guys about anything that's going on whether it's like super down or like super good i just know that you guys are always here for me and i really appreciate that and it comes from somewhere super genuine and i'm just i'm just like that i'm just genuinely very appreciative and i will always appreciate you guys and like this is a new chapter in my life that i'm like so excited about and i've worked so hard for and now from here i will only expect to see my my career as a nail technician progress go up you know so um I'm really excited about that. Anyways, loves. Thank you guys for pushing through this video and <laughs> watching and hearing me out. And if you guys were here with me through the rough times and you guys are still here with me through the good times, like I appreciate you guys so much for everyone who helped me out through the super rough times I had in September. Yeah, you guys, like I will forever be grateful for you and feel free to come by Chicago and get your nails done with me okay please feel free to hit me up and say hey Claudia I want you to do my nails and I'll be like I got you I got you <laughs> so yeah guys I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>